Hey everyone, Tegan75 here and back in Barovia in my witchery mob pack. I am standing in the corner because obviously I am a dunce. I didn't check up here, I didn't even pay attention to what was up here. Anywho, um, let's just get right back into it. I'm gonna sleep first and then, uh, We'll head over to the altar and see what the skull and the torch do, do for our power. Alright, got another glass bottle. Look both ways. Okay. Head over here. Oh, and I did not transfer the garden over. Oh well. Ugh, I will do that. So I'm going to get the skull and then we'll put the torch and as you can see it really did boost it. And then the times three means that it will regain its power three times faster than normal. So that is good. Alright so that will give you enough to do mo like a lot of beginner stuff. Alright. So we did that. We're going to head back to Father Donovich and see what he has in store for us. And no more attacking those awful creatures in the homes that aren't nearly as beginner level as I had hoped. <laughs> okay. But like I said, that's what we're doing. And I'm still, I'm very easy. So that is good. 60 minutes of playtime through three recordings this week. And we're still on very easy. All right. Let's keep going. Up, 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 up. All right. Um... Father Donovich, what do you have? I boosted the altar. Was Mary able to help at all? Yes, she showed me what to do to get power to the altar, but said her knowledge was limited. I suspected as much, but at least she pointed you in the right direction. I came across the ritual that were cured Doru. But it will take many items and a lot of power. Ten thousand to be exact. We need help from a more knowledgeable person. It is a dangerous risk, but we must try. There are items of power we can use against Strahd once placed on the altar. Unfortunately, after the last adventurers failed to defeat Strahd, he destroyed the items and hid the pieces in various parts of the kingdom. The only person who can help is a Vistani. I thought they worked for the Count. Yes, but this one plays both sides, which may be her doom eventually. Seek out the Vistani named Madame, Madame Eva. She lives with her clan outside of town, southeast of here. But before you go, perhaps we can do a bit of experimenting. What do you have in mind? We are going to need some special chalk to draw the circles around the altar. The book doesn't really explain how to make it, but I came across this book in my library. I have a, no idea how it came to be here. Ah, it talks about using a distillery. Exactly. We need to make a special distillery. And by we, I mean you, of course. I cannot leave this place with my son the way he is. It seems a special stone is needed to fashion it. Come back once you have the distillery. Will do. Okay, so then you get the distillery, distilling um, book, which the first page will tell you that the distillery needs to be next to the altar so it gets power. And you place the items inside required and with the number of clay jars it asks for. And then you just wait. Then, of course, all the recipes are in here. But, of course, you can also just look them up in uh, NEI. Okay, so this one. We spoke about that. But we can't cure Dur yet because, well, as you can see, this one, just like this one, is going to remain open until you can do it. Because it needs, not only do I need to make sure my altar power is 10,000, I need a few items for the ritual. A tag like hick, breath of the goddess, and garlic. 
not hard, right? But the other ones are a diamond, a silver sword, and brew of love. We don't know how to make silver yet, and we do not know how to do brews yet. So that's going to have to wait. But up here, we have the distillery. Father Donovich wants to experiment with the rituals in the Circle Magic book, but to do that, we need a distillery and some ritual chalk. So let's go make that distillery. I'm going to head. Did I make. Okay, I have a church one, so now I'm going to just teleport home instead of running. Um, let's look up the recipe for distillery. Oops, distill. <laughs> and. Okay, that's easy. And here's the special stone, a tuned stone. So we need whiff of magic, a diamond, and some lava. Uh, okay, so whiff of magic, of course, is the Rowan. And I think we didn't make, um, maybe I'll just, because we're going to, sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay, let's see what we get. And I'm going to put the rest of the Breath of the Goddess here. Yeah, get rid of some of my items. Okay, we're just going to use, I'm going to put this up on the bookshelf because we're just going to use any eye. If you'd never have, if you don't have any eye in a pack, then at least you know the books will tell you. All right, we got plenty of whiffs of magic. Good. Get rid of that dust. We'll use that dust, so keep it. <laughs> Four of these ingots, two gold ingots, and two clay jars. Two clay jars. Uh, okay. I always forget where this thing is. I don't know why. I didn't make the attuned stone. Hello. Okay, a diamond. The breath of magic and a lava. Okay. Where are we going to find lava? <sighs> um don't think I have seen lava anywhere on this map yet. Okay, well... No. Is there any way to make lava? <laughs> oh yeah, fire. But I don't think we got fire essence. I don't think we got fire essence at all. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Well, I will be back when I have some lava because that's going to take some time. Okay. So what I've decided to do is to, for unlocking the altar and going with my skull, which wasn't too hard to find, um, except I was a dunce, is to give two fire seeds. That way you can go ahead and grow them, and if you can't find lava, then you can go ahead and grow your own lava. There you go. That's what the seeds are there for, so you didn't have to go running all over the place and resource gathering. So I have a bucket of lava. I have a diamond, I have the Whiff of Magic, so let's get to this distillery one. Alright, distill. So we need the Tune Stone. There we go. Yay, get the bucket back. I love when devs think of that. There we go. Okay. So we shall head back to church. Is it not doing it again? Yeah, that never 
completed for some reason. Um, okay. Didn't it say there was a quest? So why isn't, don't I have a quest? Hmm. Okay, I have the quest and another witchcraft book. Say, excellent! The book states it needs to be near the altar to draw power from it. Now you can make some ritual chalk using the machine. So now we have a new quest, ritual chalk. So let's head back to the altar and put this near it. Ooh, I need food. Okay. Run. Why can't I run? Can't. There we go. Alright. Somewhere behind here. Ooh, and I do need to move the trees. That these trees will help too um, with the altar. So make sure that I need to make sure that that is over here as well. Okay, I think I need to make a waypoint for my altar because we're going to be using this a lot. I don't need rice. So, new altar. Save. Off. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to stick it right here. So it should be powered. Good. So now we need to make ritual chalk. And this is going to take the wood ash, like I said. Tear of the goddess. This is, and this is a nice way to get slime balls, by the way. <laughs> um, so breath of goddess, lapis lazuli, and three jars so that we can get three different things here. All right. Um, is that using the distillery too? That's right. And then gypsum is using a distillery as well. We'll get some slime balls there too. Quick lime, easy enough. One to one. Okay. So let's go get some wood ash, lapis lazuli, some clay jars. Got about five minutes left in this video. So let's see if we can't get this one done as well. Okay, Lapis Lazuli, Breath of Goddess. Okay. Um, let's look again. Oh, I need wood ash. Where'd I put my wood ash? I said I was going to keep all my witchery stuff over there. And I kind of lied. Okay, so we need... How much? That's only gonna give us one gypsum. Okay. So we're gonna need two quick lime, and then we're gonna need six, just normal wood ash. All right. So the foul fume will come from making this, but only one foul fume. And we need, right, two. Okay, so we're going to definitely have to make two of these. Okay. All right. And then, so six clay jars then. I'm going to need to make more clay jars. And then I'm going to go and sleep. We'll see if we can't make the ritual chalk by the end of this episode. All right. Let's head back to the altar. <laughs> you never know what's going to be left over from the evening in this town. Okay. So first we're going to make, no, not that. First we're going to make this. So actually we're going to make two of them. Did 
I do that right? Nope. <laughs> there we go. Alright, and when it's correct, you'll see it bubbling and working. So it'll take a little bit of time to do that. Let's see what else we have in here. Abandoned trade booths. Lots of iron. Okay. What's over here? Ooh, golden apple. Clay. Can always use that. More lapis. More coins in case we go insane because those things are expensive. Gum part is probably a good idea. Those are probably a good idea. I might as well take the bones too. Okay. Now that my inventory is all full up again while I'm waiting for this. Alright, so we have this, 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 and this. One more time. <sighs> uh, let's see how the altar is doing. See, it doesn't really drain too much. And it's quick to recover, so it kind of stays stable even with this. Now, of course, this distillery can be within, you know, t that 14 to 16 blocks, like they said in the quest book. Like I said in the quest book. <laughs> Alright, so oh, I didn't grab enough, uh, more um, clay jars. I need two more. <sighs> that music is so rude, interrupting. And I don't even think I have two more. Do I have two more? Oh, I do. Whew. Because we just got like two minutes. Two minutes. Can we do this in two minutes? Woohoo! Maybe. Ugh. If I don't get stuck on things. So two jars of that. And then the foul fume. And then the quick lime, right? Yes. Excellent. Yay! We are cruising through the beginning of witchery. Because I'm pretty sure most of you have already done this stuff. So I'm trying to go through it as quickly as I can. While testing out my pack, of course. Because that's the whole purpose of this. So I hope you're not bored. I was slightly entertained. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to when the bar is going to increase to you know, more than just very easy. Except for right now, it's just fine with me. Alright. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this. And the eggs. I know that, but that'll stay there so when I go back, I can always oil of vitriol. I know we're going to use that too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Once we're done, we can just shape craft this and then that quest will be done. All right. Head back. Actually, I can do it right here in one of these. There we go. And we have ritual chalk. Yay! Of course, I think I got to go back to the father, but we're going to do that in the next episode. So, if you like this episode, hit the like button below. If you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. The link to my Twitter is down below in the description. And if you want to play with friends on a Minecraft server, head over to Aim to Game. Um, and use the coupon links down below to get yourself a great deal. And keep those comments coming and any suggestions, really, um, about, you know, just about anything, <laughs> really. I mean, I will, I read all my comments, so just keep them coming. And that is it for this adventure, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!